Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm able to achieve a Google PageSpeed Insight score of 100 on my WordPress website, Tony Teaches Tech. Now, contrary to what you might be thinking, this has nothing to do with your website host. In fact, I was able to achieve a perfect PageSpeed Insight score on a $2.95 per month shared hosting plan with DreamHost, as well as a premium managed WordPress host like Kinsta or WPX. So if it isn't hosting that gives you a good PageSpeed Insight score, then what is it? Well, it's a combination of factors, including the theme that you choose and uh, just three plugins that fall into the following categories of caching, image optimization, and cutting the fat. In this video, I'll walk you through the plugins that I have installed on my websites and point you to other videos which will give you the exact settings for those plugins that I use as well. So if you're interested in speeding up your WordPress website, let's get right into it. Let's start from the ground up here with your WordPress theme. And honestly, I don't want to spend too much time here because when we talk about plugins in a bit, you'll find out that a lot of the potential bloat of a poorly written plugin can either be cached in memory or filtered out entirely. Now, keeping that in mind, especially if you already have a WordPress theme picked out, the WordPress theme that I use is Generate Press, and it is something that I use for all of my websites as it's extremely lightweight at just 10 tiny kilobytes in size for the default install. I'll have an entire playlist linked at the end of this video about optimizing and customizing Generate Press, which even if you don't use this theme, there are quite a few helpful tips as far as ensuring that your theme properly sizes images, as well as using your theme's built-in features rather than installing plugins to dynamically insert snippets such as ads, author bios, and affiliate disclosures. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and finally talk about plugins. Now, like I mentioned, there are three types of plugins that pretty much every WordPress website should have. Again, those are caching, image optimization, and cutting the fat. Let's start with caching, and the caching plugin that I use and recommend is W3 Total Cache. The free version of this plugin will get you essentially 90% of the way towards a perfect page speed insight score through a combination of minification and page caching. If you're not familiar, minification is a process of removing unnecessary content from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. This reduces the size of your web pages and allows them to be sent across the internet faster. Page caching, on the other hand, is a method of serving a stored copy of a web page rather than having each page regenerated every time a visitor requests it. Again, I'll have the exact W3 total cache settings that I use for my websites linked in another playlist at the end of this video. Next up, let's talk about a plugin that cuts the fat. And a lot of you are probably wondering what I mean by saying cuts the fat. Kind of like I alluded to earlier, there are oftentimes poorly written plugins and themes that add extra bloat to our web pages. Even WordPress itself is guilty of doing this. And I mean, to be fair, a lot of times these are just features that you probably aren't using and just need a way to turn them off. So that's where Perf Matters comes into the picture. And this plugin does a fantastic job of allowing you to disable and turn off unused or unnecessary features that simply add bloat to your web pages. Hands down, my favorite part of this plugin is the script manager, which literally allows you to disable individual CSS and JavaScript files from being loaded alongside of your web pages. By doing this, I was able to cut the number of requests on my homepage in half from 33 to 17 and reduce the size of this page by 84% from 1.8 megabytes to just 288 kilobytes. Rather than discussing specifics here, I made a comprehensive Perf Matters tutorial, which will also be linked at the end of this video. That brings us to the third type of plugin, which is image optimization. And this is extremely important because images are the single biggest resource on your web page. And when you don't take the proper steps to convert, resize, and compress your images, your page load times will suffer significantly. Now, that sounds like a lot of work, and it honestly is if you choose to do it manually. But thanks to a plugin called EWWW Image Optimizer, all you have to do is configure the plugin once and then any future images that you upload to your website will automatically be converted, resized, and compressed for you. 
In fact, in addition to compressing your images, this plugin will actually generate multiple different sizes of your images from big to small so that someone on a laptop with a big screen will get a higher resolution image while someone on a cell phone with a small screen will get a much smaller image. And I'm sure if you're familiar with Google PageSpeed Insights that you've seen something about serving your images in next-gen format. EWWW will also convert your PNGs and JPEGs to the next-gen WebP image format so that you're in compliance with Google's recommendation. Without any of these plugins, my website's PageSpeed Insights score is a measly 40, but by installing these plugins and limiting the total number of plugins installed on my WordPress website to be less than 10, I'm able to achieve a perfect PageSpeed Insights score of 100 on my homepage. I invite you now to check out this playlist, which will guide you through the steps to achieve a perfect or near perfect PageSpeed Insights score on your WordPress website. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you over there.